Have you ever given a bum money? Not really. Never given him a single thing? Oh, my leftovers from the night before. Uh, there was this woman when I was in Vegas with uh, Ryan O'Dell and Kevin Hooten. We were walking across this bridge. We went over the main street. You know where they drive those cars with billboards on them? Like it's just a truck with a billboard on it? Las Vegas is the only city I've ever been to where they do that. They drive a fucking truck around with a billboard on it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, and we're walking over this bridge, and she's, she says, uh, you, got any, you got any spare change? And I said, I don't carry change anymore. Uh, and she flipped out on me. She said, get the hell off my bridge, motherfucker. And uh, I was like, your bridge is the reason you're a bum because you spend all your like, life savings on this bridge just to stand on it and yell at people. And she fucking flipped out like so hard on me. And Hooten and Ryan were just laughing their asses off. I wish I'd been recording that. So yeah, don't ever tell a bum that you, no, that you no longer carry change. I don't carry change anymore, that's like petty shit. And there she is asking me for change, like, like it's water. Like if she doesn't get it, she'll die. Good thing water is highly abundant because that's the most important thing in the world besides one thing. What's the one thing that's more essential than water? Oxygen. Yes. Wow, you thought of it immediately. Have I, have I asked that question to you before? Uh, not that I recall. I didn't think I asked you that. That's the fastest anyone has ever gotten the answer to that question. Yeah, that's what he was fucking acting like. He didn't have water. Did you ever meet Mike Levy? Me. He fucking had a friend who brought a friend over to his place. And the dude passed out on his couch and died of a heroin overdose. Yes. You did hear about that? Yes. And then you went to prison for five years over something that wasn't even his fault? Let's say that this is your house. And I brought over, like, Micah, and he was on heroin. He died on your couch, and because that was a judge's son, which the guy who died was, in this small town that he lived in, what so happened to be the judge's son? So he got blamed for it. Dude, in so many different cases, the justice system is such a joke. You can bribe yourself. It's like, if you put in different amounts of prices, you can... You can get a different, like, settling on what your charges are. Like, by the time you actually go through in court with what the charges are, they're not even what you did. Have you ever noticed that? They always, like, reduce or change the charge to something else. Do you know what I'm talking about? I've been to court, like, seven or eight times, and they always do that. How many times have you been to court? Have you ever been to court, Pac? Um, no. You've never been to court? Not a real court. Not where I had to dress up for it. You don't ever have to dress up for court. What the hell are you talking about? Where there was... I don't know. Where are you going? It's never a necessity to have to dress up for court. Basically, when you dress up for court, all you're really doing is kissing the judge's ass. You're like, okay, I'm just going to look like this, some way that I would never dress on my own, just, to, just so you'll change your verdict. Wait, what the hell is verdict?
verdict mean? A decision. Oh, okay, so that was the right word? I, like, didn't know what the hell verdict meant, but it just sounded right. And by accident, it was the right word to use. So you have still not done what I asked? <laughs> Holy shit, I haven't. So this bag... Holy shit, I haven't. Wait, I had shit going here. Here, yeah, I'll do that. 